So we've seen how to edit the basic meta tags on various parts of our site using the meta tag module. But we can also drill down a little bit deeper than just content, front page, and then user and taxonomy term if we want to by adding additional default meta tags. So if we click this add default meta tags button, we have this type option here and we'll click that. And notice, particularly in content, we can get a little bit more granular as to the patterns we're setting for our meta tags. Let's say that, for instance, we have content the way we want it to be. The meta tag title, for example, is the name of the page, followed by a pipe character, followed by the name of the website. But maybe for whatever reason, on our basic pages, not our articles, we want to keep them the same, but on only the basic pages on the website, maybe we want the site title to come first because it might make a little bit more sense for somebody to see something like Drupal 8 SEO about than about Drupal 8 SEO. I don't know, it's just an option. So we would select basic page if we wanna change that from the default content. Then here, we put in whatever we want to, just like we did earlier. So for page title, we're gonna browse available tokens and first get the site information, particularly the name of the website, and then a space followed by a pipe character, followed by a space. And of course, if we wanted to, we could always make this a dash like OS training has or anything like that. And then under current page, we want the title, the current page title. And we'll say that we want the description to act the same way as it does for all other content. So we're not gonna override this here. We're simply gonna leave it blank. And again, we're gonna ignore abstract and keywords and click save. Now, if we scroll down here, we have the basic page format nested within content. So this is gonna override what's here. Notice it inherits from these two things, but we've overridden the way the title works. So now if we click on content to view all of the content on our website, if we first look at an article, how to bake a cake, in the tab in our web browser, we see the title followed by our site name, but if we go back and find any basic page on the website, here we have all about dogs, we'll click on that. We have the site name first because that's what we put for the formatting of this, then followed by the page name. So we know how to set the defaults for our meta tags now so that meta tag information for any given piece of content and basically any page on our site is automatically generated so that search engines have a better idea of what the page is about. But we can also change this meta tag information on a per node basis if we ever want to change, for instance, one article's meta tag information from what the standard is that we've set for all pieces of content or all other articles on the site. This isn't quite as intuitive as it was in Drupal 7, so follow along carefully. In order to do this, we first need to go to structure and content types. And for whatever content type we want to add the ability to edit that content's meta tag information for, we need to manage that content types fields. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna stick with article, but you can do it for any type of content. We're gonna click manage fields and we're gonna add a field select a field type, and here under general, select meta tags. And then you'll probably just wanna call this meta tags. In fact, we'll put a space there. Click save and continue. Save field settings. And then we can add some help text if we want to. We'll put here, you can edit this node's meta tag information. We'll save those settings. And now we can edit meta tag information again on a per node basis. So for instance, let's go back to our content and keep in mind we only did this for the article content type. So we have to pick an article to do this with. So pick any article on your website and click edit. If we look over here in the sidebar, we now have a meta tags tab. We can expand that and we have the same fields that we did in the main area of the meta tag module where we are essentially setting the meta tag templates for different types of content on our site. Here we're doing it just for this node. 
So maybe we don't think the description here is going to be great based on the node summary. Maybe it's not going to be entirely reflective of what the article is about. So we can not use a token and just say something like meta tag is a great module for SEO in Drupal 8. And then just to demonstrate, in most cases you wouldn't want to do this, but let's get rid of the site title and put something of our own, maybe using meta tag in Drupal 8. And then save our node. And then if we go back and find that article, make sure you're finding the same article you edited. It should be at the top of the page. Here's our title, but since we essentially have overridden the title meta tag for this page, if we look up here in the title tag, using meta tag in Drupal 8, it's using not the template that we've set for all articles on the site, but just the information that we've given this node. So again, this is just to show you that even though you've set the format for how meta tags are generated for all the pieces of content on your site, if there's something that you need to change for any given individual node, you can easily do that with meta tag.